Uh, I'm recording now, so keep it down. When you want to do graphics in Turing, you have to tell it uh, what size of the screen you want your graphics to be. So I'm just going to write the first command here is called set screen. And then in brackets, you have to write the word graphics in quotes, actually. And then I think you have to write colon and then the size of your screen on the X axis, how many pixels, you know, and then you write semicolon and then you write how many pixels on the Y axis. I think that's right. I think. I can't remember because I haven't done it for a while. Let me just draw something and see if it draws it on the screen. The first thing we'll draw is uh, a circle. Draw oval, I think is the command. Draw oval. And then you have to give it f four numbers. Three numbers. No, four numbers. Five numbers. You have to tell it the X and the Y where you want it on the screen. It's like a math grid, right? We'll, we'll figure out where that is in a second. Then you have to tell it the radius in the X, the radius in the Y, and some sort of color. I'm just gonna write red for now and see if that draws a red thing on. Oh yeah, it does, but it's a very dark red. Let me zoom in on that and see what that looks like. Yeah, you can see it's red, it's, it's not. Let's play around with some other colors maybe. Maybe I'll try yellow. Yellow. Ooh, it barely makes out there. You can see a little yellow circle. Um, let's try pr um, blue. Let's see okay. Okay. Okay, so that's blue, but it's also dark blue. We'll work on that. Let's see what happens if I spell something wrong up here. If I don't get this syntax exactly right, because a lot of people will make a little mistake there, write graphic or uh, maybe not put a semicolon, maybe put a comma there. What happens? Look what happens. Your screen is way bigger. It's not nice and small. It still draws it, but it doesn't center it because it's just picking a random size. So make sure you you when you go to do set screen graphics like that there's probably an even an example in the help so if I go to help and go uh, Turing reference under index if I type the word set screen it will show you how that command works and it actually gives you an example so you could just copy that and paste it if you wanted to set screen graphics there's other things we can set later we could turn off the cursor we could turn uh, for graphics. We can get it to draw. We can do some other weird stuff. Uh, when we start doing animation, we can play with that too. But for now, it's just this one command to let us to let Turing know we're going to be drawing. Uh, there's a whole bunch of draw commands, and they all also have their own draw fills as well. What happened there? Okay. Um, let's start looking at some of these commands. I'm just going to go to the help section and see how they work. They tell you how they work, but the help is a little bit confusing at first. So I'm just going to write the word draw, and we could see that there's a whole bunch of commands here. One called draw arc, okay. One called draw box. One called draw dot. One called draw fill. And there's a draw fill arc. Draw fill box, draw fill oval, draw, draw fill maple star, leaf. draw line, draw maple leaf, draw oval. So we're going to make a picture with just basically drawing lines, ovals, squares, maybe stars. Let's, um, let's look at this draw oval command that we just called, which is right here. It'll give us a little picture and explain how it works. So it says the command is going to take in... Um, five integers, one, two, three, four, five. And it needs an X and a Y, which it, it explains over in this picture is the center of the circle, okay? Then it needs an X radius and a Y radius. Everything is in pixels. So apparently the X radius and the Y radius are how wide it is along the X axis and how wide it is along the Y axis. And then lastly, it needs a color. 
as well. So that's why we gave it five things. Uh, but we actually just wrote the word red, blue, green, whatever. So if I did not write five things in there, gonna let me run that. If I forget to write a fifth number in here or fifth thing, it will say, you are missing a parameter. You have too few parameters. Draw oval should have five things that you pass to it. In these in the in the brackets there, but you missed one. Okay, so let's let's get a sense of what these numbers mean. My screen says it's 800 by 600. What does that mean? Let's look here. I'm gonna just write blue again, but I'm actually gonna call draw fill oval. So I want to fill it in and look at it. There it is, a circle on the screen. Great. So it looks like it's in the middle of the screen. And I drew it at the X and Y of 400 and 300. And if my screen is 800, half of that would be 400 in the X. If my screen is 600 tall in the Y direction, then half of that would be 300. So it makes sense that my circle is actually in the middle of the screen. I'm just going to draw it at 0, 0 and see where it draws it so I can tell where the corner of my screen is. OK, that's great. So apparently, this piece right here on a, on a graph would be 0, comma 0. x is 0, y is 0. Now I'm going to draw it at 800 and 600 and see where the top corner of my screen is. And it's up there. Notice how it draws it about the center of the circle. So it looks like if I was going to have an axis here, draw an axis on a grid, like in math class, X and Y, right? You hate to bring math into this stuff, but it's always in this computer stuff. So there's Y, there's X. It looks like my screen is broken up into like a zero comma zero point and all the way over here, whoa, nice straight line, eh? is 800 in the X comma 600. So that's how my screen is broken up. If I wanna tell it to draw something, like let's say I wanna draw a square right here, okay? Let's first go to how to draw a square. I wanna draw a square up in the top of my screen like that. I'm gonna go over to Turing and see how to draw a square. Close that. I'm gonna open this and I'll go to help and see what the draw command for a square is. It's always under index. I'll just write the word draw and I'll see that, I think I saw draw box right here. Draw box. Okay. But I'm actually gonna use draw fill box because it'll fill it in for me. It just saves me the hassle of doing that. So draw fill box says it, it also needs five numbers. It needs an X1 and a Y1, so some sort of point in space. Then it needs an X2 and a Y2, some other second point in space, and then a color. Okay, and it looks like it shows me a little picture here of what X1 and Y1 are. Well, let me move over there, but yeah, it just it looks like it needs the bottom left corner of the box and then the top right corner. So if I was going to go and think about this on a math grid, I'd come over here and I would say, okay, this is zero in the X and this is 800. So if I want it like maybe 20 pixels away from the side of the screen, I would write that, okay? So that this point here would be 20 comma, and I would say my screen goes up 600 points and I'd be like maybe 150 points off of the top of the screen. So maybe I would do something like 450 for that. Okay. And then let's say I want this square to be 100 pixels over. So I want it to move over 100 pixels and I want it to move up 100 pixels. So I know if this is 20 in the X, then it would have gotten moved over to 120. So we've got to do a little bit of basic math in our head, comma. And if this was 450 in the Y down here, it would have had to move up to 550. We just got to do a little bit of math in our head and think about drawing these things on a grid. It'll take some practice. That's why we're going to be working on it for a few days. So I got to write 
for my um, when I go to draw my box, I got to write these four numbers in. I got to write 2450, 12550. Let me write those in. So I'm going to go draw, fill, box, and I'll write 2450. I'm going to move everything over 100. 12550. And then I could choose a color. If I want to, uh, if I want to get crazy, I'll look at some more colors than just like red, green, blue, yellow. There should be a list here. I'm going to just go to Google and search Turing color chart. And there's actually um, 256 colors we can choose from. That chart is too blurry, so I'm going to click on this one. And those are all the colors I can use. And that's still kind of blurry. But I really like, you can see there's a lot of darker colors there. I really like the color 49. It's like a green. So I'm going to pick the number 49 instead of just writing out. Because you can either write it as an integer, or you can write out the word. And I think only a few words work, like red, blue, yellow, black, white. Okay, so I'm gonna write 49, and I should have a green circle, or a green box, kind of up in this region. It's not maybe not gonna look exactly like that. There you go. It did draw it, okay? So the, the takeaway here is that, and you can also draw lines the same way, okay? If I wanna just draw this as a line, it will draw a line to the two points instead of actually turning it into a box, but it still takes the same amount of numbers. It's hard to see there, but. So your goal today, tomorrow, Friday, if you look at Turing Lab 6 here, okay, is you wanna create a landscape. So this person made a cool one with just, just lines, squares, and circles. Yeah, and there was a maple leaf too in there. And they, you have to get kind of creative because like this moon was a circle, and then there was like another blue circle over top of it. So, but it matched the background. Yeah, you have to make your own. You don't have to make this one. You just make something cool. But keeping in mind that at some point after this week, we'll be animating this picture. So. So what? pick something that, because in this picture, something cool, maybe the sun goes down and the moon comes up and the boat leaves the dock or something, or smoke comes out of the chimney of the house, something like that. So keep in mind that the, the actual Turing assignment coming up is that we're gonna take this landscape, whatever one we choose to make, and animate it, get it moving. So come up with a cool idea. <laughs> and just using basic shapes. They also used a star as well, okay? Let's look how a star works. If I wanna know how a star works, I just go to help, reference, Turing reference. I'm sure there's a draw star right here. It looks like it's almost the same as like the draw line or the draw box command. You just give it a left, bottom left corner and a top right corner. So if I actually just changed mine to star here, instead of drawing a line, it will draw a star, draw, fill, star. There you go. Okay. So that's the basic idea of Turing drawing. And we'll get more into it as we go along and we'll start learning how to make stuff move and putting things in a loop and drawing them constantly and changing the drawings so it looks like it's animating, all that stuff.